East Asia is, is one of our uh, biggest trading block. It's around 72 billion US dollars in 2015. That's around 20% of the total trade of Dubai. But when you look carefully to that, what's really important is the growth that we've been witnessing during the past four or five years. It's grown more than 50%. Of course, uh, China is uh, two thirds of that uh, a trade, but also Japan, South Korea, and also Hong Kong are big contributors to the uh, trade relationship. When you zoom in to China, China by itself is around 48 billion US dollars uh, worth of trade. It had growth, a great phenomenon growth for us. During the past five years, it grew from 24 billion US dollars in 2010 to 48 billion. That's 100 percent growth. As I said, 48 billion US dollars. But when you, again, when you start analyzing that, 95 percent of that is export from China to Dubai and uh, around 2 billion is the export and re-export uh, to China. Most of the products are electronics, uh, machineries, uh, textile, and uh, chemicals. It's very important for us to continue the growth because the good thing also, though we import a lot from China, but we re-export a lot of whatever we imported to the region. And this is really contributing uh, also to grow the re-exports and the exports of Dubai further to Africa, to Middle East, and different parts of our region. The proximity of Dubai is making it, I would say, uh, the well-established city closest to uh, markets of big interest for the Chinese. Uh, mainly, I'm talking about Africa. Of course, Africa is a market that Chinese export to and import from, especially raw materials. And a lot of these markets are not well established. And for the Chinese companies to uh, be able to be close enough in well-established markets, this is what Dubai is offering. As I said, the platform where they can have great warehouses over here, the ports, the laws and regulations, and the ease of entry and the connectivity with Africa, where they can, you know, whether they fly or they can ship or ship from. And uh, this, I would say, uh, infrastructure making the life of Chinese businesses easier instead of operating from China. Because that's what London and Paris or New York Canada offer the Chinese, uh, the proximity with uh, areas of great interest for them, such as Africa. We've always been paying a lot of attention uh, to the trade relationship between both sides. And we are continuing also to do more in the future to be able to expand this further, continue the growth in it, diversify it. Because we believe if we can uh, continue growing the trade, we'll uh, also grow the uh, business and uh, the economic relationship and also the business and economy of Dubai to be aligned with also uh, Dubai Plan 2021. Uh, We've been involved in a number of investments forums, whether in China or in Dubai, to be able to continue the dialogue and to grow the relationship uh, further. One thing also we are uh, paying more attention to it is attracting more investments uh, from China to Dubai, positioning Dubai as a hub for our part of the world. And this model has been working quite well for us. Uh, Dubai Chamber also opening offices all over the world. Uh, we realize the importance of Southeast Asia and in particular in China. And we are opening uh, our office in Shanghai very soon. And we believe this will be able to boost the relationship further. Again, the focus is trade. However, we start to pay more attention in investments, both sides, whether uh, UA investments in China or Chinese investments in Dubai. Another areas of opportunity that we believe that will contribute to grow uh, investment and tourism further is the recent initiative from UAE government to have uh, visa and arrival for Chinese. We believe this will boost the tourism from China to Dubai, which today it stands around 500,000 Chinese came to Dubai in 2015. And we believe this easing of visa will be able also to grow that to Dubai and uh, the, the rest of UAE. Add to that also, there is more and more focus in using the Chinese currency as uh, mood of payments. The RMB, we believe this would reduce the cost of uh, business and uh, boost uh, the trade and investments uh, from both sides. A lot of 
things is happening in this arena that we believe uh, with time we'll be able to continue the momentum of the growth between both of our economies.